favorite bar may stop serving appetizers this spring. There's a new state law requires bars to meet public health standards in order to serve prepared foods. And some bar owners say they can't afford to make those changes. WRAL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live from the state legislative building. Laura, what's behind this change in the law? You know, Lena, for a long time, because of its alcohol laws, North Carolina didn't have bars per se. The bars could either be in a restaurant or they could be private clubs where you had to be a member to buy a drink. Well, restaurants were subject to public health inspections because they were open to the public, right? Uh, and food safety inspections as well. But because private clubs were not technically open to the public, they were not subject to oversight, even though some of them had some pretty robust menus. Bar owners successfully pushed to sort of modernize the laws and get rid of the private club definition back in 2021. But now that the bars are public, the state says they're also subject to food safety laws if they serve foods that have to be time or temperature controlled for safety, like meat, dairy, and seafood. All right, Laura Leslie reporting live for us uh, with the details there. Oh, uh, Laura, before you go, why are bar owners upset about this change? They must have seen it coming. Well, some of them, some of them aren't going to be affected. Not everyone's going to be affected. It won't affect bars that... Um, don't serve food or they only serve packages of chips or peanuts or similar things like that. But bars that serve hot wings or pizza or burgers, food like that, are going to have to take some several new steps. They have to train their staff on food safety. They have to get a local health department permit and they'll have to go undergo inspections like restaurants. They'll also have to have professional grade sinks, dishwashers, refrigerators and so on. But some bar owners say they don't have the money or the space for all that equipment. It could cost them tens of thousands of dollars. Before we let you go, when does this take effect? Well, it was supposed to go into effect January 1st, but it was postponed until the end of March to give bar owners a little bit more time to comply with it because it happened kind of late last year. Um, but as of March 27th, bars will either have to have their permit or stop serving prepared food. People are going to be upset not having those wings with their beers, certainly. Lauren Leslie reporting live for us at the State Legislative Building. Thank you. So